What's up? This is Ben from Blackstone Cherry. You're rocking out here on Loud TV. It's becoming that way. I mean, um, you know, we tour a lot of places over here, but, uh, you know, the UK has been very, very good to us. Um, and we love it. I mean, we love going anywhere. You know, it's just fun. We're glad to be here in France. It's, it's better weather than England right now, I'll tell you that. It definitely did. I mean, the EP was something fun we always wanted to do, you know, because we love blues music. We were, we were brought up on blues music. Um, so when it came time to write for the new album, you know, after we got done with the EP, that really influenced us to kind of dig, you know, unearth some of that stuff that we grew up listening to, which was some of those great blues classics. And that kind of just um, influenced us to, and it just naturally happened, you know. We were listening to a lot of great music, and naturally it just kind of happened with the new songs they just kind of came out you know um in a more rock and roll feel it wasn't so heavy it was just a great uh you know a rock and roll album that's what we wanted to make i mean i like i still love heavy music and you know and we're still a, a hard rock band but uh, i think as a personal as a personally uh, as myself as a musician uh, you know i I'm kind of over the oversaturated amps and this, you know, the, the really, really fast riffs, you know. I, um, I, you know, at this time, I just, you know, I was into some different stuff, you know, listening to more of the Allman Brothers and, um, you know, getting back, you know, of course, my favorite band is Aerosmith, you know, and that's the stuff that really gets me going and, and it moves me musically. So um, I think for us as a band, we all kind of took that gradual shift, you know, to go back to the stuff that we grew up listening to. Um, and we just want to stand on our own legs, you know, and we're not a metal band and we're not this kind of band. We're just, we're a southern rock and roll band. It was near home and it's just a great place to be. It's just, the guy that owns the studio, his name is David Barrick. Um, we have a great working relationship with him. We have a great chemistry together with him. And it just feels comfortable to be in that studio, to be at home, and we can have friends and family come over um, and just do our own thing at our own pace. You know, if we want to be in the studio late one night, we're there. Um, you know, if we want to get there early the next day, we can do that. It's just the freedom of being able to do that, um, I think, helps us, you know, you know uh, creatively while making the record. Yeah, this one was quick too. We moved pretty quick, you know. We, uh, we don't like to waste a lot of time, you know. We get in there and we get it done because everybody's usually, when we hit the studio, everybody's firing on all cylinders and we're influenced and everybody's energetic and inspired. And uh, when we get in there, yeah, we just start rolling. We start rolling right along. And it happens usually, you know, pretty quick. So I think this one was, took about as long as the last one, which is maybe a month, right under a month maybe, to get it all done. And we worked pretty consecutively, too, almost every single day. Well, it kind of goes back to talking about after the blues thing. That's what we were really inspired by. And, you know, we don't write music for commercial radio or commercial success or this or that. And we don't have a record label telling us what kind of music to make. Thankfully, our record label, Mascot, gave us the creative freedom to do whatever we wanted to do. And we finally just said, you know what, let's just be the band that we know that we are and uh, that we've sometimes run from. Um, and that's just, like I said, it's just a southern bluesy funk rock and roll band. And we took all those elements of influence and, and we put them into this new album. And it feels really good because we wanted to make an organic rock album. And I think that's what we've done. Uh, Warren Haynes from uh, the Allman Brothers and Government Mule. And he, it's just an honor to have him on the record. Uh, it was really cool to have Chris's little boy on there. Uh, that was a very spontaneous thing, and that goes back to why we like recording at home. You know, if we had been anywhere else, that would have never happened. Him, uh, they just—he just happened to pop in that day um, with Chris's wife, and we decided to put him on the song, and it came out great. And with Warren, we reached—we've we've known Warren. We've met him a few times in the past. And he's such a great guy, and uh, we reached out to him and said, "Would you want to?" play or sing 
on this track. He came back and said, absolutely. So we sent in the music and he sent it back to us and he just absolutely did a phenomenal job. And uh, it's an honor to have him on the album. He did. He mixed the album. John did the artwork. So, you know, it feels really good, which is kind of why we called the album Family Tree, too, because obviously family is a very important thing for us. And this album is um, it was the first album that we've kind of, you know, almost every single thing was done in-house, from the production to the mixing to the artwork, everything, you know? Yeah, we always try to, we all, everybody has a different voice. Uh, and we always try to blend those voices and make them a part of the album. You know, we grew up listening to the Beatles, you know, who harmonized together so great. Um, and, you know, we don't want to ever forget that, you know, we want to showcase that whenever we can. So, yeah, in the studio, we always figure out whose voices are going to blend better for what harmony. And uh, all of us were featured on that. I think so. It's just the way we were brought up, you know. Um, we, love, we love being from Kentucky and we love, um, you know, small town life. We love our families and I think it just has to do a lot with the way we were brought up, you know. And Yeah, culture, heritage, uh, all those things, you know, they, they all play into it. But, you know, we're very proud to be, to be from our little small town. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty simple way of life, maybe, you know. I've always thought Southern rock genre uh, has kind of, you know, glorified this, th that's this kind of way of life. It's, we like to live an honest, clean, you know, open, you know, just being good people, you know. And that's just the way we like to live. We have a few dates this month in March, and then we go out with Government Mule in April. We've got some headline shows through May, and then we come back to Europe for festivals in June. We're honored to go out with Government Mule, which we're getting ready to do. Um, I would love for us to go out and tour with Aerosmith. I love Aerosmith. Um, we did some great shows with ZZ Top last year, Leonard Skinner we played with. So we've been really fortunate to do some really fun tours. <laughs> <laughs>